This is the introductory video in a series that's going to show you how to put these Coyote engines in virtually anything you want. We're using a vintage Ford truck, but take a look at this first video and stay tuned to the series. And then push it out of the way and tarp it because there's a new build coming and it's a good one. It's uh, a truck from Arizona and it's so clean. Um, so I'm excited about that. Let's, let's get to work. Um, this needs to be a good video for the channel. So, uh, hey, speaking of channels, don't you have one? I do have one. Uh, if you go on to the YouTube search bar and type in Team Animus, A-N-I-M-U-S, uh, that's actually mine and my cousin's YouTube channel. We post gaming videos and BMX videos and then soon car videos. Um, you are a car guy, right? You are. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. is a car guy. He's a new driver. What are you driving these days? Um, the best car out there, a Dodge Hemi Durango. <laughs> what else, right? <laughs> and you know what's cool about the Hemi Durangos? When you're done driving them around, or if you happen to, God forbid, wreck them, uh, there's a lot of cool, useful things you can do with it. <laughs> so let's get to work. Let's clean this shit up. I want to introduce you to this 1972 two-wheel drive F-250 that was a camper special back when it was new. This vehicle was rescued by a YouTube viewer and subscriber of ours named Fred from Arizona and he was cool enough to send it to us so that we can give it a heart transplant. Here it is leaving Arizona several days ago and it arrived at our friend's dealership this morning where my son and I drove up to see about making plans on getting it transported back to my shop. And it looks like we made it a bit more interesting than that. Take a look. Here we are at WMS, um, taking a look at this truck for the first time. And what's interesting, I thought this was just paint. This is not paint. This is actually stamped. Um, I'm thinking that wasn't cheap. And speaking of not cheap, we're going to take a look at the front of this thing and start talking about the Coyote Swap. First impressions of the inside of this truck is it must have come from a desert state because there's nothing but Arizona dust. Um, on first inspection, one of the things I noticed right away, the major hurdle on this one is going to be getting that power steering box to work because this space on the Coyote swap, this is occupied by headers and, and uh, the steering shaft. So it's going to be a tight one and we're going to use stock Coyote headers but I see that as being my first major hurdle. Um, getting this motor out is not gonna be a problem. I see a lot of unnecessary wiring, but there are some cool parts to this. Let's take a look inside and see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing no door panels. Do we have door panels? <laughs> we'll figure that out in a minute. Uh, I see boxes. Uh, this looks like all kinds of parts. We'll get to that. There's supposed to be some boxes for us to open in here. Turbo parts for Paul. He must be kidding. <laughs> There's, uh, we're not turbo charging it, are we? I think the price just went up, if that's the case. Uh, I need some sort of knife. Who's got a knife? You southern guys, you got knives, don't you? I knew they'd have a knife. <laughs> In case you need to skin a roadside deer or something. <laughs> Here you are, shake this back before I hurt myself with that. All right, what is this business? It's like a, a variety 12 pack of get hammered um, after you work on the truck. <laughs> I think it's beer. Yeah, Arizona, sand pan. We need to get this on ice right away quick. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for that. That will go to good use. It will not go to waste. I can assure you of that. We got some work to do. And of course, Jeremy loved his too. He sends his thanks as well. In order to speed things up, I might actually just drive this an hour and 45 minutes uh, back towards where I live so I can start taking it apart. Otherwise, I gotta wait a couple of days for it to put it on a trailer. Sounds like it runs okay though.
runs all right. Got good brakes. You just gotta put some fuel in it. So I had no idea who worked on this truck before me. I mean, it just came off of a semi and I had to point it towards the house. Now, I wasn't sure if it was all connected properly. None of the gauges work. It was a bit exciting. Take a look. Okay, this thing is terrifying to drive on the freeway. It's all over the place. The steering wheel's terrible. It's literally frightening. Okay, um, after you get used to it, all the noises, all the rattles, um, the steering that is typical of an old Ford, you don't really tell it where you want to go, it tells you where it's going, and you just kind of follow along. It's not so bad really, but it, it is a different experience. I can honestly say that with a more modern power plant and some help to the steering, it wouldn't be so bad. But it definitely needed these upgrades. We're about to get on the freeway going fast again. Let's open the taps. No mirrors. One thing I kind of forgot, maybe I took it for granted, is that this has Arizona plates on it and I'm in Ohio. And when people drive by and they're staring at me, not only do they think my name is Fred, because that's what it says on the back of the truck, but I forgot for a minute that this is pretty damn cool. This truck is actually really cool. Uh, people are giving me thumbs up, so it's running fine, honestly. I, I really just had to get used to it, I think. But it's cool. is it's a check engine light uh, this truck has no idea what this is <laughs> this is for modern fuel injected wonderful systems this thing has no idea about any of that it doesn't have any of that it actually runs on smashed up dead baby dinosaurs <laughs> and uh, it is delivered by uh, basically a spray bottle on top of the combustion chamber it's called a carburetor carbretta and you know what this thing actually runs really good it makes good power other than the crazy steering um, it makes good power. Now, I'd like this to be some sort of episode of Top Gear, you know, where you get out and you've fallen in love with this thing from the epic journey that you've shared across many miles. And yeah, no, mm -mm. no, nope, driving this thing was scarier than hell. There's wires hanging, everything's shaking. It's driving like this. Trucks are passing me. And uh, yeah, it was a white knuckle drive. And this thing can use uh, the upgrades that we're going to give it. And uh, I just want you to stay tuned to the channel. We are going to Put a coyote motor in here and we're gonna make this thing run and drive like it should. He keeps, he keeps welding together crazy junk. Are yours out yet? One is. You gotta see how it's tilted. You gotta go up and hold it from yes, yes. And it'll get loose. Mine are totally out. Two muscles. Oh, that's half the weight of the truck right there. <laughs> we're gonna set it on this rubber. Um, we're going to do the six-speed automatic transmission in it. We're going to do the, obviously, coyote motor, and then there will be some interior mods later. Uh, so, But that's what's going to happen right away. This truck is actually sent to us by a YouTube channel subscriber. How cool is that? This is a viewer's truck sent all the way from Arizona to Cleveland. And we're here now to uh, get this swap done. And I'm going to try and do a how-to on the video, make sure everybody knows exactly if you wanted to try this yourself I'm gonna give you in in depth a little bit more information than I have on the other ones that way you can follow along and if you want to do it yourself or if you want us to do it we can absolutely do that for you but uh, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel um, please leave a comment at the bottom and share this wherever you see fit go ahead and hit the like button um, I appreciate each and every one of you thanks for watching and stay tuned